Pop squat. Go. Manager. Uh, Malik, you sent in some money and uh, had me listen to a bunch of Rodney stuff. And now uh, the last track you had sent me was somebody called Goomy. And uh, I'm kind of curious about this guy. So I tried to find some information. Couldn't find a whole heck of a lot. But I did find an interview in... Uh, Oh, what is this? OurGenerationMusic.com And uh, this is about Goonie. A Cleveland rapper is never running out of dreams on his way to stardom. This is an uh, interview conducted by Nimai Kumar in April of this year, 2022. Uh, let's read through just a little bit of it because I couldn't find a Wikipedia page or anything else about Goonie. And uh, I'm pretty sure this is the same guy because he looks pretty much the same. And... Uh, I'm hoping this is correct. Up-and-coming Cleveland rapper Goonie has quickly become a staple of the underground signature sound, along with his involvement in the fast-rising underground collective Slay World. Oh, okay. Okay. I don't know if I've heard about Goonie before. And his affiliation with close friends and peers, uh, Yeet, Can Can, Summers, and more, the 22-year-old producer turned rapper is hitting the ground running in 2022 focusing on what matters most the music um boy that's just like a such a typical way to write that sort of introduction introduction uh as a veteran of the plug and b sound goonie's ability to deliver relaxing flows over ethereal instrumentals has grant uh garnered a loyal fan base and respect from fellow underground rappers ascending to his rightful place in the game he began his career as a producer at the age of 16, as his original goal was to emulate the success of super producers like Metro Boomin. When the producer route didn't take off as well as he would have liked, uh, he opted to talk to the beats, rapping until he no longer had to curate his own instrumentals. Collaborating with his go-to beat maker Benji Cold, LJ, Mingo, uh, his go-to beat makers, probably, Benji Cold, LJ, Mingo, Zangang, and more. After stealing beats from Can Can and others, he moved to Florida to fully pursue his rapping career, meeting the original Slay World crew in person to begin making music as a group. Uh, with the rise of his collaborators reaching astronomical levels... Wow, this is a professional writer? The rise of his collaborators reaching, reaching astronomical... The rise reached after that. Sorry, I'm I'm an English person, an English major person, writer guy, and it drives me crazy. Uh, divulging on how he and Yeet exchange texts about each other's music, Goonie has the stage set for a successful come up as he levels up his sound, expressing interest in other avenues of hip hop like boom bap and trap. The Zaza rapper is looking ahead to change the game as his prior experience as producer brings a fresh perspective to his songs. Um, very cool. Uh, I'm not going to read through all this. There's a bunch more. If you want to check out the interview video, I guess I can leave this up so I can put the link in the description down below so you should find it there. Um, let's jump into this. So Malik asked for the song Too Much, and this is the official music video from Goonie. I don't know exactly how long it is, and uh, I couldn't find lyrics for it. At least I think that's true. Yes, I did search for it. Uh, so let's check it out. I say that. Can I find lyrics for it? I don't think I did. Goonie. Uh, too much lyrics. <laughs> Not Goonie tunes. Oh, yeah, it is on Genius. All right. Well, I will attempt to follow along here. This was produced by J. Dollar. Uh, J Dollar. J. This was produced by J Dollar. J Dollar. Uncommon and Yugen. Jugen. J O U G A N. I would probably say Yugen, but that could be wrong. Uh, looks like this came out in August of this year, and uh, let's check it out. Oh, minute twenty-three. Mm. 
That is really interesting sonic. Absolutely a plug sound. Totally get it. But there's something else going on here with his music that I really, 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 really like. Um, and I don't know if it's the... There's kind of a... Not a rattlesnake sound, but like a little sort of sound. Um, and there are some deeper notes that really kind of help to kind of ground things a little bit, but it still has that very kind of dreamy sort of feel, a lot of overlapping sounds going on. Let's, uh, let's start over because I really want to try and figure out what it is that I like about this. Uh, it's that thing in the background. Dun, 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 dun. So it's just one of the layers of music, but it's a really kind of interesting one because normally, if I'm remembering correctly, almost all of the music in plug track seems to be either really, really pretty high notes or much lower notes so that it creates this sort of ground level for you. And this is, this ding, 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 is kind of in the middle and it kind of adds a neat thing to the song. Nice. Yeah, I like that a lot. That's a really cool sound. Uh, and I can... I mean, I say I can tell he's a producer, but it, I can only tell because I just read that. Um, so I'm lying to you. I can't really tell. And he's not listed as a producer, but I'm sure he was consulted heavily on his own track, right? Uh, this sounded really cool, especially for the plug stuff that I've heard. Um, I would love to hear more by him. It's interesting. I, I also love that he says in here, da, 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 da. I caught fire, now my rank done went up. My whole life just get bitches, get money. <laughs> uh, where did he say something? Man, it's crazy, I came up from nothing. So, again, this is, a, I mean, in a way, this is a very personal song from a young artist who maybe didn't think he was going to make it, or at least he just can't believe, like, this is, this is happening. <laughs> and I think everybody has that feeling when they finally get to a thing that they're like, this is what I wanted to do, like, this is my thing. And uh, I think it's great that he talks about it here, even if it's just a single line or a couple of lines in this song. It's it's great, because he's also talking about, uh, what does he say? Well, he's, the song is too much, but he's saying, I ain't got to say too much. Um, and I don't know exactly what he means by that. Basically, like, he just works, he doesn't have to explain himself, he doesn't have to do whatever, he just works, that's what he wants to do, and he wants to work at making music. Uh, very cool, I, I like the way this sounds a lot. Uh, in fact, I will probably be downloading this. So, Malik, good choice. Uh, if you've got some other Goonie tracks, let me know, this was cool. This was very cool, I thought this sounded great. Uh, Pop Squat, check it out. Please like, subscribe, share, I appreciate it, bye.